I think this is the part where the monster comes out. He's behind the door, run! Shut up, you're ruining the movie. What was that? Is this one of your little tricks? I think it's coming from that drawer. You should go check it out. I'm scared. You go. Let's just go together. What is that? Is that a dragon egg? Maybe it's trying to tell us something. We should be careful though. We don't know what this is or what type of damage it could do. Chris, what are you doing? This thing is cool. Put that back. You're overreacting. It's a cute little orb. See, nothing to worry about here. Give me that thing so I can put it back. No, you're acting like a little kid. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, my ears are ringing too. Wait, what? No, I'm fat. I'm ugly. Hey, I'm not ugly. Well, right now you're not because you're me. Wait, what's going on? I'm freaking out right now. That orb thing must have switched our bodies. I told you to stop messing with it. Now look at us. <sighs> it's hard to breathe. This is serious. Stop the fat jokes. No, for reals. How do you do this? Can you stop? It's your fault this happened to us. What? Everything was fine until you tried to snatch the orb from me. Okay, okay, let's just relax and try to figure this out. I don't want to be in your body just as much as you don't want to be in mine. Should we call 911? They're just gonna think we're crazy. Well, what about like a scientist or a neurologist? Chris, do you have neurologist money? Exactly. Maybe if we just grab the orb again, we'll go back to our normal selves. Let's try it. I don't think this is working. Just hold your position a little longer. Are you still me? <sighs> yeah, this isn't working, but we need to do something fast because I need to go back home. It's almost my curfew. I don't understand how you're 25 years old and you still have a curfew. Well, technically, you have a curfew, since you're me. So I have to pretend to be you? We have no choice. Chris, you need to go to my house until we figure this out. I can't afford to be grounded. I don't know anything about your family or being Mexican. I'm not gonna survive. I'm pretty sure you've learned a thing or two, or 50, about Mexican culture this past year. Just don't think about it too much. All you have to be is polite, respectful, and don't say anything dumb. I, I think I could do that. Does your family speak English? Yes, of course they speak English. Come on, you got this. Just go to my house and be me while I try and figure this out. Okay, here I go. Wish me luck. Chris, what are you doing? I'm trying to walk like you. I do not walk like that. Uh, you kind of do. Hurry up and go. Okay, okay, I'm going. Okay, you can do this. You just have to pretend to be Ramon until we figure this out. Why does Ramon have a samurai sword? Wait, I learned about this. Waking up to Mexican music means I'm going to be cleaning. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Lopez. I mean, Mom, I heard the Mexican music, so I knew you were going to tell me to start cleaning because I grew up in a Mexican household. This household, to be exact. So I know the ins and outs of this fine and diverse culture. Okay. When you're done cleaning, I'm making breakfast downstairs. <sighs> I played that off pretty well. Dang, Ramon gets abnormally hungry. 
The food's almost ready, mijo. But can you pass me a pan? Yeah, sure. Where's the pot rack? Wait, I learned this. In a Mexican household, pots and pans are usually in the oven. Got it. Here, mom. Thank you, son. <sighs> oh yeah, can you get that salsa from the fridge? Yes, I can. Mexicans are resourceful, so the salsa should be in the butter container. Yes, like always. Wow, I have learned a lot about Mexican culture. This is pretty fun. Ugh, this sucks. He literally only has mayonnaise in here. How does Chris live like this? We have corn dogs in the freezer, honey. Okay, thank you, Mrs. I mean, Mom. I really need to figure out how to get back into my body. I can't stand living in these uncultured conditions for much longer. I remember Ramon saying that Vaprub is the magical cure all medicine for everything. So maybe you'll switch your bodies back. Ramon! What? Oh, snap. I can't say that. In the Mexican household, you don't say what? You say, Monday! Abracadabra Alakazam! Wingardium Leviosa! Ooh, I know! Uh, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I guess I have to spend the rest of my life with oily hair and being ugly. Well, at least I'm not dumb. This is so dumb. I just want to switch back to my normal body and enjoy a jar of mayonnaise. Hmm, I didn't know Ramon had a diary. Call it what you want. Journal number one. I met a guy Chris today and I don't like him at all. Yeah, sounds like something Ramon would say. Journal number five. Chris made me laugh today, but he's still annoying. At least I made him laugh. Journal number 10. Chris is starting to grow on me. He's not that bad. Hmm. Chris slapped me today. I hate him. Okay, now that sounds more like Ramon. Journal number 24. I officially consider Chris a friend now. Journal number 40. As much as he annoys me, Chris is like the brother I always wish I had. Wait, what? I always thought he hated me. Chris, I figured it out. Um, figured out what? How to undo this whole Lindsay Lohan body switch thing. Yes, finally. Yeah, I just did a quick Google search. You really can find anything online. So people switching bodies is common? Apparently. All we have to do is hold the orb together at the same time and say reset. That's it. All the forums said the same thing. Hmm. Wait, why do you smell like Vaporu? Well, I remember you teaching me that vapor up cures everything. So I tried, Never mind. it's a long story. Okay, well, I see you're still alive. So I guess he survived. Yeah. I actually remembered a lot of the stuff you taught me. That's great! I knew you weren't that dumb. So, you ready to switch back? Yes, please! All right, so on the count of three, say reset. One, two, three. Reset! reset. It worked! I'm beautiful again! And you're... you. I can breathe easily again. I don't want anything to do with this orb, ever. Yeah, same here. Oh, uh, Ramon, before I forget, could I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Do you actually consider me a... A what? You know what? Never mind. Okay? 
Chris, please don't tell me you ate three boxes of gancitos in my body. Uh, maybe? You know I'm on a diet. Sorry? I'm going to kill you. <laughs>